Welcome to the Contractor Success Map Podcast. I'm your host, Bradley Hart, and I'm an expert on how you can get the most out of your contracting company. The reason I designed this show is to help you turn your contracting company from a people-dependent money pit into a process-dependent cash cow to have the freedom you dreamed of when you start your business. Every Friday, we're releasing podcasts and information to help you get the most out of your contracting company. Be sure to join us at www.contractorsuccessmap.com and subscribe to receive our latest articles and special offers. And the best part, it's all free, just for you. Hello everyone, Norhalma here once again, welcoming our subscribers and podcast listeners. It's our first podcast for the month of October. If you're new here, thank you for giving us a chance to share insightful marketing, accounting and production tips and strategies for your construction business. However, it's our 492nd episode, and today, Sherry DeHart talked about the top construction company marketing blueprint. Let's get into it. Construction contractors like you are primarily in the hurry up and wait zone. Hurry up and answer the call from the customer. Wait to make the appointment. Hurry up and get to the job. Wait for the customer to come home to be available. Hurry up and create a proposal. Wait for a decision. When the client says yes, it is wait for the job deposit. And of course, wait to start the job. This hurry up and wait for activity makes it hard for the contractor to schedule other jobs. Many contractors only hold a place open for the client once a job deposit has been received. Unless your construction company has lots of work stacked up, there will be times when there is nothing to do. And that is the best time to think about strategic marketing and following the adage, dig your well before you are thirsty. You won't build a loyal client base if you can't earn your visitors' trust, which is why companies value social proof highly. Proving your construction business's value online takes a unique skill set, but boosting it during your downtime is a great practice. While waiting for something to happen, here are a few strategies that can help you generate leads. First, build credibility quickly. Just started? Why should people hire a new business? Your first challenge is quickly overcoming their doubts by building trust and credibility. Some tips. Promote your skills and experience, plus those of your staff and associates. Join your industry or professional organization and start building a profile. Commission a writer to produce articles using your ideas. Feature customer feedback and projects completed on your website. And gain a market foothold by offering a service or product at less than full price in return for an endorsement you can use. Regard this as an advertising expense. Second, focus on solving pain points. Identify and then focus sharply on solving the customer's challenge whether it is a problem, a desire, or a fear. Be specific and monetize your solution if possible. Try building a story around your service that the customer can relate to. For example, how much does double glazing save an average house in heating cost? Wrap the story of the saving around other payoffs, like a more comfortable and healthy living experience warmer in winter, cooler in summer. Service businesses often have a reputation for being late. If you offer services, can you guarantee to arrive on time? Look for the hidden pain points in your industry. Next, promote your point of difference. Boil down your client solutions into a compelling point of difference that will overcome customer hesitation. Refine this competitive advantage into a memorable slogan or a few short sentences at most. 
Run the result past your advisors and small business owners. Once they approve, vigorously promote your point of difference on your website and in all your marketing material. Make sure staff can also confidently communicate it to customers. Fourth, develop a strong website. A website can be a powerful marketing tool. Some priorities. Make sure customers can find you. Get expert advice to improve your search engine ranking. Make the website fast and user-friendly. Get outsiders to test the site without prompting and fix what frustrates or baffles them. Include credibility enhancing frequently asked questions, customer feedback, or projects completed sections. People often browse a website to build their confidence in your business before they buy. Next, include social media buttons to help readers spread the word. Encourage people to sign up for a newsletter in return for a discount or other incentives. And give people a reason to return by featuring hot deals and new information on the homepage. Fifth, use low-cost promotions first. Try the low-cost tactics first. Direct mail and telemarketing can still be cost-effective for higher-priced services or products. Small-scale runs can give you an indication of demand and allow you to experiment with different options. Blogs and profiles on social media, such as business-focused LinkedIn or people-focused Facebook and Twitter, are valuable ways to develop conversations with customers or potential customers. Next, start with a splash. If you just started, can you come up with some newsworthy event or gimmick to launch your business with a splash? Study how other companies launch. Can you do better? If you can't afford to hire a PR firm, ask a retired journalist with media contacts to help you put together some press releases. The media are always hungry for good stories. Some innovative thinking can lead to free publicity in the local media. Seventh, build a client database. A good client database is worth gold. It is easier and cheaper to sell more to existing customers than it is to find new customers. Start capturing customer information, with their permission of course, from day one and decide what details you need to include to help you build repeat business. For example, you can record what customers hired you for, how much they spend, and when their purchases of services are likely to need renewal. Your database will help you build a complete profile of your customer types so you can focus on finding more people like your best clients. 8. Network vigorously. Business is all about people. The more people you know, the better. So try to get out there and meet others in the community. Join your industry or professional association and local organization such as small business networks the Chamber of Commerce, and community groups. Next, focus on referrals. Word-of-mouth referrals are the most cost-effective way of gaining new customers because you don't have to spend anything on advertising or marketing. Research has repeatedly shown that referrals have a higher conversion rate, inquiries to sales, and spend more than other customers. People have more confidence in a business recommended by friends or colleagues. Referrals will happen naturally if you provide excellent service and good value. But you can improve your referral rate through an active program of incentives. And last but not the least strategy, measure to improve. Give preference to marketing you can measure to avoid the mistake of many businesses who don't measure marketing results. You may be talked into some radio or newspaper ads, but if you don't measure what happens, you'll never know if your investment was wise or a waste. 
Measuring can be anything from adding a clipout coupon or code to asking customers, by the way, how did you find out about us? The results may surprise you, but will also empower you to focus your marketing budget on what works. Final thoughts. Focus on building and nurturing your construction business and personal relationships online, especially when you're in the hurry up and wait period. There are many things beyond our control, but marketing your construction business is one of the things we can take advantage of right now. And that ends Sherry's blog post. Remember, we can help a little or a lot depending on your business needs. And of course, our podcast promo code is still available for you to use. It's podcast20, P-O-D-C-A-S-T-2-0, podcast20 for a 20% discount in our fast, easy accounting store and construction accounting academy. If you're confused about which product to purchase or what services to outsource, please don't hesitate to contact Sherry by calling her direct access. Our toll-free number 1-800-361-1770 or U.S. local phone line 206-361-3950. You can also send her an email at sherry, S-H-A-R-I-E, sherry at fasteasyaccounting.com. On behalf of Sherry and our team here at Fast Easy Accounting, this is Norhalma. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe and healthy. And stay tuned for upcoming episodes on how to turn your contracting company into a process-dependent cash cow. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to the Contractor Success Map. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a five-star rating and review here on iTunes. And make sure to head over to www.contractorsuccessmap.com to subscribe to receive the latest articles and special offers. If you'd like to discuss your business strategy, simply click on the button labeled Strategy Session. And the best part, it's all free, just for you.